Hello, it's Zara, and today's video I'm going to share with you guys my new fish tank. So, I shared previously my little tank with blue, my bed of fish in there. Um, since upgraded a bit to a 29 gallon, got them both actually at PetSmart. Um, their kits. So this is the uh, top fin brand. It came, the big one came with this filter. Um, but it's basically this, the Essential All-in-One Aquarium Starter Kit and um, by Top Fin. So I'll tell you what you get in the kit. Let me set my tripod up here so that I can talk without shaking everything around. Okay, so I decided to put them over there on the half wall. I've tried a few things. We're in the Zen Den, first of all. So I thought a fish tank would be pretty cool to have in here. Um, I shared that I had the 10 gallon. I'm, I'm going to try and stick my finger in the shot. So this little, this one here is the first kit I got. It was around 50, maybe 60 bucks, but it comes with the hood, so the cover with the light, the filter, the heater, a thermometer, and like a little scoopy thing to scoop your fish out with. Um, I think that's it. And the same thing for the 29 gallon. It comes with the same stuff. It comes with the top fin. This is called a PF30 Silent Stream Power Filter. Um, you get a heater, which I think is called, uh, I have the, the um, Top Fin Aquarium Heater, it's just called. Um, anywho, it comes with the lid and the light, and then the tank itself, the little thermometer, which it, it, I'll show you it when I zoom in. Um, I had the little one on that table right behind the chair. It's more like a little console table. And it fit, it held it pretty good, but for the bigger tank, I made sure to get one that was specifically made for aquariums. So that's by, I got it from Amazon, but it's by a fish name. I can't think of the name of it. Um, if anyone wants to know, I can put it um, in the link below. So. That way I could move the 10 gallon down and put the 29 gallon on top. The measurements are 12 by 30 and a little bit by 18 tall. I was thinking of getting a 20 long, which would have been the same footprint they call it, but it was only 12 inches high. But I thought I had enough room, it fits there fine, uh, might as well go for it. So we did. Um, happy, very happy with it. It's only been up and running for probably less than a week. Um, same with the, the 10 gallon is only, I've only had it about a month. Um, so I'll go in tight for you to show you a few of the things I got. The Let's go into the beta tank real quick first because I just wanna share what I did because this was the first time I ever had a fish tank and I just, I've learned since then. Um, hopefully, this will stay okay the gravel in there I knew I wanted live plants so that specifically said for a planted tank so I got it but it is gravel um, there's blue on the left um, the other that's called the substrate so the substrate is the, the gravel the rocks the sand whatever you put on the bottom and then the rocks in there is called Dragonstone, which I just thought was pretty and I liked the sound of it, you know, the name and the whole thing, so I got it. I mean, it was whatever I felt inspired to get. I bought all those plants that are in there from PetSmart as well. There's the heater. I'll try to point, like, right here is the heater, like, kind of diagonally on the back because it's, it's quite large and the tank is only, I think the tank's about probably 12 inches tall. Anywho, what I've learned since then is that the plants don't want to be um, buried, some of them. Some of them don't. Um, I think the java fern and the anubias are the ones that don't like to be buried, but I did bury them all. <laughs> so, uh, and I mean, they're dying back a little bit. Some of them are. Um, the other thing was that the Cory cat that I have, see blue's up in the left there on the top. The Cory cat, it's like a little... Um, catfish and he's a bottom feeder um, which oh, I think I see him right in the middle yeah I see him I see him I see him anyway he has these little whiskers that he searches the bottom for food and all that stuff because they eat algae and stuff but 
I don't know, sometimes they can get cut up on a two of a hard surface. Too much of a hard, oh, he's in the back. That was blue. Anywho, I'm learning so much from, you know what, our YouTube. Uh, I've, I've got lots of YouTube channels that I watch and also on Facebook. There's a big community of fish, of aquarium people on there. So, um, you know, just like I always tell you guys, anybody can do this stuff if you're just willing to, to learn a little bit. Um, and there's a learning curve as with everything and I'm learning as I go I try to get as much information ahead of time but then you know uh, life will happen and you know <laughs> keep you humble anywho so the 10 gallons been going pretty good I just water tested it last night and did a um, so there's a nitrate cycle I think it's called nitrate there's there's you don't want ammonia you want zero ammonia ammonia can kill your fish um, but the bacteria, anything that breaks down in the tank, like the dead uh, plants, old food that's like, you know, trash or debris, turns into ammonia, which can kill the fish. So that's why you need your filtration to be good. But also the plants will take some of that out of the water. The other fish might eat algae and different things. So I'm learning a lot about the cycle, but you really want to keep an eye on your water to keep it... Um, and there's, then there's, ben, oh, there's blue coming out. There's beneficial bacteria as well that helps the cycle flow. So it should just keep cycling. The ammonia turns into nitrates. The nitrates turn into nitrites, I think, or it's opposite. And then it goes back around. So anyway, let's move up now. Blue's just being, he's hiding in the back. But I'm going to move up to the 29-gallon. This one I've, I've only had up and running under a week I would say so at the moment I have one two three four five plants in this one I ordered plants on Amazon so they should be coming soon and we'll see how it goes with those if they're any good when I get them or whatever these were pretty good I got these at PetSmart too um, Anubius and I think it's called Java Fern um, are pretty beginner plants for aquariums so I'm, I'm sticking with those I did not plant any of them under the substrate and this one I got sand and this was just at PetSmart it was the sand that they had um, and I took that big piece of dragonstone so let me try and zoom in a little bit I'm sorry I'm working with a tripod it's very awkward this big rock here is called dragonstone and I got a bag of it that I split up and put a few pieces in each tank but I glued that Anubias to the side of it using um, Gorilla Glue gel. Uh, I glued the plants, I glued the other plant onto this spider wood. Right in the middle, I kind of wedged it in there and then glued a little piece of that. Uh, the front piece is a piece of dragonstone here. Um, I glued a plant to that. And then in the very corner, back there, it won't focus. Yeah, right there in the very corner. I have a piece of wire twisted around that that I wedged. I wedged. I wedged it under the um, the amethyst rock. I put a piece of amethyst in there, and then I did the same thing with this guy. The one behind the one behind there is also on a piece of wire, and then I just wedged the wire underneath that uh, the big rock. That's a piece of um, just crystal, a crystal geode that I put in there. And then this big piece, let me zoom out, we got, because I just thought it was cool. I wanted to stay natural, but that also had the ability to make um, the bubbles. So I wanted to have that. And um, so far, so good. It's a little cloudy. I have to keep um, changing the water out, doing a water change to keep the water uh, clear and um not going to add any fish for a while. I'm going to make sure all my, that my new nitrite cycle is, that my tank is cycled. I did add the um, Top Fin makes products, which they're right over here. I'll go get them. Um, Quick Start. That's what I used to put blue in the water. Um, Quick Start is... That's what it looks like and you got to make sure it's not for salt water because that will mess up your tank it allows instant addition of fish it limits toxic ammonia and nitrite and it immediately starts the aquarium cycle so 
just because it was a betta fish and they're not as um, sensitive to some water parameters. You can get away with a little bit higher or lower or whatever. And of course I bought them the day I got the tank, which I shouldn't have done, but you don't know, you know. But I could start the tank with this, and he's been doing fine, so I'm very happy about that. The other thing I have is called AccuClear, and it just says it clears cloudy water. Um, I don't know how true that is or whatever. I did use it in the top tank. I have it in this tank that you're looking at. I haven't used it in the bottom tank, but I think I want to get one that's for ammonia spikes. Like sometimes you get new fish and all of a sudden your, your tank is cycled and it could just spike with ammonia and ammonia will kill your whole tank. It'll mess everything up. So there's some type of medicine you can put in there for that. Let me know in the comments, you guys, anything any kind of advice that you have I've been watching a lot of like I said the, um, I filmed this a couple times so I might have said it in the other video I have quite a few Facebook pages that I follow um, I follow a lot of YouTube channels for aquariums so I'm learning as I go um, but it is a very beautiful hobby I think it it teaches us patience and um, how to care for living things it's it's really no no joke like this is a living um, biological situation happening here that you know you have to pay attention to things you can't let it go and um, so yeah I just wanted to give it a try I'm not going to overload the tank but I definitely want to get a few more plants going in there so that the fish have a place to hide and to do their natural thing you know um, but the plants also help create oxygen in the water and they also uh, use some of the bad bacteria as nutrients I think so you know I'm no expert but I'm getting there you know and I'm literally just a beginner I think I've been in this for like a month now so I just wanted to share I'm gonna back up um, any tips and tricks you guys have I would love to hear from you how you've enjoyed your aquarium experience and, um, but that's what I've been busy doing. So, uh, that's it guys. Thanks for watching.